Hi everyone. The Queen Anne's Revenge was an 18th century sailing ship which is believed to have been constructed around 1710, originally known as the Concorde or La Concorde. It was used as a slaving ship until its capture on November 28, 1717 at the hands of the pirate Edward Blackbeard teach off the coast of St. Vincent. Blackbeard renamed the vessel to the Queen Anne's Revenge, likely as a reference to the War of the Spanish Succession aka Queen Anne's War which many pirates at the time were veterans of. The ship reportedly had 40 cannons and a crew of about 300 pirates with Blackbeard using it as the flagship of his fleet. In the May of 1718, the Queen Anne's Revenge was used to form a blockade outside of Charleston Harbor in South Carolina, holding the port hostage. Blackbeard's demands from the port included many top-of-the-time medical equipment which he decked the Queen Anne's Revenge with to assist his crew. On June 10, 1718, the Queen Anne's Revenge was run aground on Beaufort Isle in North Carolina. Resources were transferred to Blackbeard's other ship the Adventure and the Queen Anne's Revenge was abandoned with much of its crew marooned by Blackbeard. Some historians propose that Blackbeard might have intentionally wrecked the Queen Anne's Revenge as a means of dispersing much of his crew. Blackbeard's Ghost. In this film, the beached wreckage of the Queen Anne's Revenge was transformed into an estate called Blackbeard's Inn in Godolphin, North Carolina. The inn was owned by the descendants of the Revenge's crew and came to be haunted by Blackbeard's ghost. At the end of the film, it appears as a ghost ship which Blackbeard departs on with a ghost crew aboard waiting for him. Pirates of the Caribbean on stranger tides. Bristling with cannons and spiked with human bones, the Queen Anne's Revenge was the flagship of the notorious pirate Blackbeard. Under his command, this fearsome vessel was manned by the undead, whether it was a soulless crew of jumbies or zombies, a weight with deadly determination to repel all borders. The Revenge also came to life as long as its captain wielded the Sword of Triton, then the vessel would do his indomitable will and spread terror in its bloody wake. According to legend, the Queen Anne's Revenge was festooned with the skeletons of Blackbeard's victims, and spat fire from its bow to incinerate enemy ships, or the occasional crew member fallen out of favor. During the quest The Fountain of Youth, Blackbeard held no ordinary crew, but one consisting of a mixture of humans and zombies, led by his daughter Angelica. Several days after being shanghaied aboard the Queen Anne's Revenge, Jack Sparrow used his lowly position as mere crewman to lead a mutiny against the zombie officers. However, the revolt was foiled when Blackbeard himself appeared and used the Sword of Triton to spring the sinister ship to life in which Jack's crew of mutineers got caught in its rigging. Throughout the quest, Jack and Angelica danced on deck, the revenge partook in the mermaid hunt at Whitecap Bay, and was docked in a cove of a mysterious island for the remainder of the journey to the fountain. After the death of Blackbeard, the Queen Anne's revenge and its crew would be led by Hector Barbosa. A year later, the ship served as the flagship for Barbosa's fleet, eventually becoming one of the deadliest vessels to sail the seas. During Armando Salazar's attack on pirates, Barbosa met with Salazar and promised to locate Jack Sparrow in exchange for his life. Salazar accepted but forced Barbosa to abandon his ship and travel with him to exact his revenge. The Queen Anne's revenge was thus left to the winds and tides of the sea.
Thanks for watching.